Coming up on TLDR from GeekWire. Rival digital assistants Cortana and Alexa are finally talking. U2's Bono and The Edge invest in a Seattle trucking startup. And we try out Facebook's new Oculus Go VR headsets. From GeekWire, it's TLDR, your daily rundown on all things tech. Today was the second day of Microsoft's Build Developer Conference in Seattle. In a historic moment yesterday, Microsoft and Amazon officials shared the stage. They showed off the first of many integrations between Microsoft's Cortana and Amazon's Alexa. Alexa, open Cortana. Cortana here. How can I help? The integrations are only available in limited beta testing for now. Microsoft also announced a deal with the drone company DJI. The deal involves developing new IoT, or Internet of Things, technologies, like commercial drones for agriculture and construction. And in a partnership with Qualcomm, Microsoft will create cameras that have computer vision. The cameras would be able to run Azure services without a connection to the cloud by downloading them and running them locally. In an on-stage demo, Microsoft flew a drone over pipes that looked identical from the outside, and using imaging technology, it could identify damaged pipes and create a service ticket published to Microsoft's Dynamics 365. The conference will run through Wednesday, so make sure to follow GeekWire.com to stay up to date on Build. In other news, the Seattle startup Convoy revealed that U2's Bono and The Edge invested in the company last year. Convoy has been described as the Uber for trucking. It connects truck drivers with extra capacity to people who need things shipped by truck. Convoy didn't say how much the rock stars invested, but CEO and co-founder Dan Lewis did say that Bono and The Edge know more about trucking than you might think, saying they've spent most of their lives touring the world, and trucks are an essential part of moving the show from city to city. And finally, on Fridays here at GeekWire, we like to do happy hour at the end of the workday. Before the weekend, we took turns trying out Facebook's new Oculus Go VR headset. The verdict? This is a VR experience that many of us would actually use. Some of the biggest pros were not needing to use your phone as a screen and not needing to connect the headset to our computers. Having no cords to trip over was a huge plus, and it's also relatively affordable at almost 200 bucks for the 32 gigabyte headset. Some of the cons were that the games can be slow to install and launch and that things can look a little pixelated depending on the game. With that said, we had a lot of fun with the Oculus Go, so if you're thinking of getting one, we think it's worth it. That's all we have for today. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you won't miss an episode. I'm Starla Sampaco. Thank you so much for watching TLDR. We'll see you tomorrow.